The assessment process is um, within those six months and it's a very thorough process and the whole point is, it, it is that we get to know um, the prospective adopters as well as we can um, during that period of time. So we do have to look at that family with lots of different lenses, I guess that's the best way of putting yeah, it. That's a nice way. Um, and there's a statutory element to that, so that will involve the more bureaucratic side of it, where we would take up the police check, uh, we'd ask the family to take have a medical assessment and we take up references um, involving the local authority references where people live or have lived, overseas checks, um, and also uh, personal references. So that's the bureaucratic side of it. But running alongside that is uh, building a relationship with the prospective adopters, which a social worker puts a lot of effort in doing, so that we get to really understand the applicants' uh, backgrounds and the things that they like. And, Perhaps you'd like to say a bit yeah, about that. Because what's what we really need to do is understand um, who you are as a person, what your own childhood experiences were like, um, what your kind of adult challenges have been, how you've responded to them and overcome them. And we're not there. It's not an interrogation by any stretch. It's a relationship-based assessment process. We get to know you. And I know that people sometimes feel a bit anxious about yeah. it initially, but... On the whole, I find that people really come to engage with it. They feel very comfortable with their social workers. They come to understand the importance of us understanding them so that we can then find the right child for, for, for them as a family. And that's really what we're aiming to do. Yeah. Understand where your strengths are, your vulnerabilities, we all have them, and how we can support you um, on both of those sides to make a good match yeah. um, when you're approved and, and form a family. Yeah.